Warning, there is a good chance Bitcoin Mike has no idea what he's talking about. Do your own research. Enjoy the show. Thank you. All right, folks, things are looking absolutely incredible. We cannot deny it. Bitcoin coming in at 23,600. Um, things are absolutely bullish. The sentiment has changed. Is this a dead cat bounce? I don't know. I mean, it doesn't feel like it. I feel like if this was a dead cat bounce, we would have pretty much popped up the $21,000, $22,000 and dumped from there. There's something going on in the markets. Um, it could just be that we've been in a bear market for over a year. And every time we're in a bear market for over a year, we get that pump up. We make that step ladder back up leading into the next bull market. Um, a lot of people are saying, okay, we, should I be buying Bitcoin now? Should I be buying altcoins? I think some of these altcoins are still a good buy. They haven't gone up all that much. Cardano got rejected at 40 cents. Now it's hanging out about 39 cents. I think Cardano is probably still a good buy at 39 cents. Now, some of these coins... <clears throat> Like Matic up to a dollar seventeen. I'm just not a big. I just feel like Matic's pumped too much. I mean, I, I'd want Matic for under a dollar, but Matic could be ten dollars next bull market. It could be twenty dollars. I don't know. I'm just trying to find stuff now that hasn't pumped too much. Uh, v Chain is two and a half cents. V Chain's not a bad, uh, not a bad deal at this price. V Chain was up to twenty six, twenty seven cents last bull market. Um, and Theta is at $1.11. Remember, guys, telling you guys to buy Theta at $0.73. Cents. We're at $1.11. I think here's what I think is what's going to happen. Um, I think if Bitcoin makes it to $25,000 and hangs out there for a while, you're going to see these altcoins absolutely rip. Now, remember, this is crypto. Bitcoin pumps first. And then all the money comes out of Bitcoin and it goes into the altcoins. So there is still a chance with some of these altcoins to get in. I mean, if you're looking like all time highs, all time highs for these altcoins, I mean, you're looking, you're still looking at a 10 or 20 X from where we are right now. Um, I just don't know if we're going to dump or get rejected at 24,000 and go into the pits of hell. I mean, folks, this is crypto. Anything can happen. But like I said, the sentiment has changed. I mean, we're a far cry away from that $15,000. For us to drop back down to $15,000, it would take the worst freaking event. That's why I'm really thinking right now the low is in at 15. Remember, folks, Gareth Soloway, all these big traders were calling for an $8,000 Bitcoin, $10,000. They missed it. Gareth Soloway was saying he was basically nitpicking at t at 15,000 he was going to go in just a little bit but he was really waiting for eight ten thousand dollar bitcoin he missed the bull run now that's why i was trying to tell you i just had a conversation with somebody else like you when you wait for these lower prices when you're already in a bear market we went from here then we went to here then we went to here but you're waiting for here so like i said a lot of these traders are just not going to get the bottom um it's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. Once we're in a bear market, like I said, once Cardano and your favorite altcoin dropped 80%, that's when you start nibbling. Once Bitcoin dropped over 50%, that's when I started nibbling. And a lot of people had almost all of their capital on the side waiting for $12,000 Bitcoin, $10,000 Bitcoin, $8,000 Bitcoin. There's a very good chance you guys aren't going to get that now. And that's what I've been trying to do on my YouTube channel is basically make sure that you guys don't get screwed. But now, if you, if you had no money in the market at all, now you have to chase and buy back in. And then what if we dump next week? What if Bitcoin goes back down to $20,000 next week? Then you bought too high. So anyway, that's that. Everything's looking very juicy. Uh, Tesla just had its best week since May 2013. I made multiple videos last month begging people to buy Tesla stock, saying it probably hit a low. Now you're probably up like 40%. That's what I'm saying, folks. When when uh, Kramer's telling you not to buy Tesla stock, when CNBC is, when all the news is negative, it's so simple. The markets are so simple. Like, just go against the market sentiment so that you can say that with Tesla, Bitcoin, Coinbase, MicroStrategy. When everybody's telling you it's garbage, that's when you buy. That's when you buy. All right. Cardano. Cardano about to have a big week. This is the week, folks. Today is Sunday. This week, the DJ stablecoin does get released. It's going to be a busy week for Cardano ecosystem. The DJ stablecoin and the Cody protocol are both making their review. Cardano-based uh, decentralized exchange DEX Miniswap and MuleSwap, as well as plenty of other Decentralized finance apps will add support for the much-hyped DJ stablecoin. Now remember, Cardano is at 30, 39 cents. If Bitcoin continues, 
The altcoins really haven't pumped yet. What do you think is going to happen with Cardano? We could see a 70, 80 cent, 90 cent Cardano in the coming weeks, folks. It's very possible. Am I saying that's going to happen? No, I'm saying it's definitely possible. We're setting up for that right now. Everything looks perfect for a 50% rise in Cardano. The launch of the DJED stablecoin is expected to be boon for Cardano's struggling DeFi ecosystem since it will bring much more liquidity. The algorithm of the much talked about stablecoin is based on a collateral ratio that is in the range of 400 to 800%. In layman's terms, other tokens will will back the stablecoin. It will be impossible to mint new, new DJED st uh, stablecoin tokens if the reserve ratio drops below 400%. The DJED stablecoin will, will be able to maintain its dollar peg with the help of other backed um, stablecoins. So yeah, this is not this is an algorithmic backed stablecoin. You know, apparently it works completely different than the whole Terra ecosystem. Apparently this is a lot safer. Um, will I be using this stablecoin? Absolutely not. <laughs> Although I think it is good for Cardano. I'm going to stick with U.S. dollars, folks, and USDC. See, I say that. A lot of people call me Cardano fanboy, like a Cardano fanboy. I don't care. I, I think this stable coin is great for the ecosystem, great for DeFi, great for Cardano, but you're much safer using USD or USDC than uh, the Cardano stable coin. And I say that as a big uh, Cardano fan, and I do think this stable coin is going to really help Cardano. So we shall see what happens. Cardano is currently at $0.39. Cents. Uh, I think Cardano is an absolute steal at $0.39. Cents. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. <clears throat> okay. Bitcoin eyes 25000 as, as Bitcoin price nears best week close in five months. Okay, folks. Everybody last month was telling you it was over. Peter Schiff came out telling you it's over. Uh, uh, Jim Cramer called you an idiot for buying Bitcoin. That's how you know we're at the bottom. And now all of a sudden we went from 16,000 to 25,000. Now, could we go back down to 20,000? Could we go back down to 18,000? Absolutely. But right now we have the momentum. We could see a $30,000 Bitcoin by the middle of next month. If that happens, folks, we're halfway back to all time highs. So going back to what I said before, when the sentiment is low, that's when you buy. The sentiment's actually getting a little bit high right now. So maybe we're due for a little bit of a dump. Maybe Bitcoin will hit $25,000 and we'll dump right back down to twenty-three dollars or $22,000. But that would be healthy if, it's ha if it happens because we went from seventeen dollars to twenty-five. dollars So I do foresee a nice big fat dump, folks. This is, we're not going to have a straight rise up to $70,000. In fact, I don't even think we're going to go into a bull market until the end of the year or next year. But if we can slowly make these steps higher, Throughout the year, slowly making our way up, and then by the time we hit the end of the year, we go into the bull market and the rocket ship takes off. That's what happens every single bull run. And that's Cardano, Bitcoin, all your coins, Theta, they're on track to do what they do every, every single bear market bull run. We get the big dumps, everybody capitulates, the altcoins drop 90, 95, 99%, Bitcoin drops 70, 75%, it's all over, all the news is bad, and then we basically slowly make our way up. So, like I said, there are things going on in the world right now with the Russia situation and the economy that could bring Bitcoin down, but everything has risk folks everything this isn't we're not in kindergarten anymore right we're eating cupcakes and everything and we're watching barney remember those days watching barney and, and eating cupcakes this is the real world investing has risks but i think uh, crypto right now is the best thing you can get into to uh, ob obtain wealth in the coming years okay whales are pouncing here's the story whales are pouncing on litecoin polygon and two other ethereum based projects I've been telling you guys, when, when Litecoin was down to $45 just a couple months ago, I said, it's time to buy Litecoin. You got to have it in a year. It can never be labeled a security. Nobody controls it. Charlie Lee, the founder of Litecoin, sold all his coins. It's a proof of work, it's a proof of work project, meaning it can't be labeled a security because of the way it was basically minted. And nobody controls it. It's also a legacy coin. It's been around basically for the last, what? eight years, nine years at this point. Now, the time to accumulate Litecoin is still, I mean, Litecoin's a little high right now for, for me, but I've been trying to beg people to buy Litecoin. I bought a little bit of it, not as much as I wanted. I do think Litecoin has a good possibility of hitting between $600 and $1,000 by the end of the year or going into 2024. Um, especially if SEC comes out and starts regulating a lot of other cryptos, 
uh, Litecoin can never be labeled a security. Now, people are also buying Polygon. I like Polygon. I just think it's hyped up too much right now. Um, if we get like a major dump and it goes under a dollar, I'll probably pick some up. But I feel like I kind of missed the Polygon train. That's why I tell people you're still, it's still not too late to buy Cardano. But I don't know if I want to buy Matic because it's up so much over the last you know couple months. And Litecoin hash rate reaches all-time high. People are just piling into Litecoin right now. You know, people have been telling you for the last year, Litecoin's dead. It's a dead project. Crypto Banter told you you would lose all your money if you bought Litecoin. He decided to pump Luna and UST instead. Well, if you bought if you bought Litecoin, you're sitting pretty and you're making a lot of money. If you bought Luna and UST, you've lost all your money. That's why I say, folks, you want to avoid these shillers. You want to avoid these projects that are basically pump and dumpers. Litecoin is not a pump and dump project. It's a legitimate crypto. People use it as a means of exchange. I use Litecoin. Litecoin all the time. For example, I'll buy something, I'll buy Litecoin on Binance and I'll send the Litecoin over to KuCoin or other exchanges so I can convert it to UST on those exchanges and then buy the little stinky pinky or little metaverse coin that I want to buy. So Litecoin has a lot of uses. Also, you can use it just to store a value. You can buy your Litecoin, put it in a hardware wallet and just keep it for the next 10 years and it'll probably be, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40x. Litecoin has done well every bull market. Um, and Litecoin is one of the first coins I ever bought in crypto. I wish I had more. Uh, Litecoin didn't do as well last bull market. I'm glad I had most of my money in Cardano, but I do think Litecoin is going to do well this bull market, and I think it's going to outperform. I think it's going to be back in that top 10 area, top five. I think Litecoin's going to be back in the top five or six um, by the end of this year. All right, one more look at the market. 23,621 for Bitcoin. Folks, you can't ignore it. Things are looking great. Uh, Cardano is pushing that 40 cent mark again. Dogecoin pushing nine cents. It's not too late, folks. You know, it's not too late to be buying some of these cryptos if you don't have any crypto. A lot of people say you should probably wait for a dump, but we might, if Bitcoin stays on this track to $25,000, this might be the time to buy. I'm not saying go all in. Like, if you have no crypto right now and you got $10,000 in old invest, I think it's smart to put like $5,000 in now and then basically buy the dumps after that because Bitcoin may not stop this run until twenty-five dollars or $30,000. That would mean a lot of these altcoins are going to be up 40% in the next couple of weeks. But on the other side, Bitcoin could get rejected in 10 minutes. And a lot of these coins could dump 20 or 30%. So that's why you have to ignore the FUD, ignore the dumps. Just buy now, buy the dips, hold until the next year. You save money on taxes. I just had this conversation with another guy. When you trade, folks, remember, if you're in the U.S., you pay between 40 and 50% in taxes. Um, and if you just hold long term, it's more like 20, 25%. In fact, it's more like 20% for long term holds for capital gain taxes. It depends on the state you're in. Um, some states that they, they kind of like hit you hard, other states don't. But regardless, trading, you pay a lot more in taxes. Long term hold over a year, over a year and a half, you save thousands and thousands of dollars by just holding and selling in the bull market versus trying to trade. It's just not worth it to me. So that's why no matter what happens with price, I'm always buying these dips. And then in the next year or two, I sell. And that's how you do well in crypto. All right, folks, like and subscribe. Talk to you later.